Hi guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench. And this morning, I wanted to do a quick video on an interesting topic that comes up here from time to time. So right here, we're looking at a pair of Pen 113Hs. Uh, this is the special 4.0 Senator model, specifically. And we have two two different generations of the same reel here. Okay, so this one on my left is an older model. And this one on my right is a newer model, probably dated around the late, mid, late 1990s, I'd say. Um, but what we want to talk about here specifically is access to drag stacks, okay? So you can see, you know, these two reels, they, they have something very different, you know, just by looking at them. You know, you can see this one's got this, this shiny... A big collar right here whereas this one does not it's it's completely enclosed the drag stack right when that's that's the whole point of this video is uh, just because a reel has the same you know model number uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything works the same okay and this was a design change right and a lot of real manufacturers, they typically reserve the right to do, you know, design changes, just like car manufacturers or other manufacturers, right? And this is one of them, right? So uh, when this reel was was a newer product, uh, you know, it dated all the way back to the 1960s is when they started making this particular model with these red faceplates, the high-speed gear sets. They made them so that you could actually take your handle assembly off okay, with, you know, the wrench, you know, that came with your reel, and, you know, maybe a small screwdriver, you know, which, you know, almost every fisherman had that, you know, care, you know, they carry that around in their tackle box. And then the thinking was, is, you know, if you got into a big fight with a big fish, and it burned up your drag stack, then you could change it out right there on the water on the boat. Okay, or, you know, on the shore or whatever. You know, in this case, this is a trolling reel, so traditionally it'd be used on a boat, but it doesn't really matter. You know, but if it fried your drag stack, you could have another one in your tackle box ready to go, and you could just take these pieces out, and you could change out your drag stack, and all you had to do was pull those pieces out and then pull this collar off, and then you could actually get access to the drag stack, okay? Now, I'm not going to pull all these pieces and parts out. This actually has the original... Uh, old school brake style uh, discs in it because they're still in good shape okay but unfortunately you don't have that with this newer one okay now granted yeah a lot of people they just bring extra fishing reels with them but you know the thinking was at the time is you know it was affordable it was cheaper to just change out those 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 drags you know on the water and then you could keep fishing so, you know, if you, if you find yourself, you know, wondering, uh, you know, you know, if you happen to have a couple of these and you're wondering why that's different, well, that's why they're two different generations of the same reel. And furthermore, it's important to note that if you're ever working on, you know, this reel specifically, you know, you can download the schematic, okay, but not all schematics are the same necessarily that are out there. Now, this is one you know, from Penn Reels that's dated from like the late 80s, I believe. And it shows the newer drag stack, the HT100 drag stack, which you would find in this reel. Uh, and, and it could be upgraded on this reel. You know, it just happens to not have it. Okay, however, if you go to mysticparts.com, it's actually going to give you all the extra notes on how the old drag stack looks and what, what it consists of and the current drag stack and then other parts that you may need like these collar pieces that this reel has that this one doesn't. Okay, so that's just a little tip, something that's helpful to know that, uh, you know, uh, that yes, they, 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 they do work differently, uh, but it's mainly just to get access to the drag stack, you know, when you're out on the water. So I hope that's helpful, and uh, thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe. Hit the notification button. That way you will be getting all the updates as to when there are new videos coming out, and we'll see you then.